Uma, gonna take him with me. Believe you meant to say you've come to ask my permission to take him. I am in charge now, so... Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But then I'll bring your enlightened reign to an end. An abrupt and premature end. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games? Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. Displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Bangli consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. 
and we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can, but I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next. So. How do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen.
Been away quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... Now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Being sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see, jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that. Nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. What's its name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. Footprints. And hoofprints. A goat. Interesting. And deer. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while.
didn't tie itself to the stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for fork tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Fame's not all it's made out to be. Consider myself lucky if I were you. You're right. Takes a lot of champagne to wash down all that caviar. That is tough going. Shh. Hear that? Incoming. Foul, overgrown reptiles. Hate it when they do that. Might have saved us some trouble, let us kill it. Not scared to leave the horse down oh. below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a warhorse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved this lost knight once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. We broke its wing, I think. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Gonna tell me which side of the knife to cut with next? The sharp one. Come on, hurry up. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? 
You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, more hen wins! Take it easy. I could beat you riding a lame sow. <laughs> Good one. Underestimated you, or should I say scorpion. One fast mount. And I overestimated you. If I'd known it'd be that easy, I'd have bet something on it. Bet you next time. Thing is, I'll win. Yeah, sure. Again, damn it. to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. Need to blow off steam? Go ahead, just not on me. Find some other target. I don't know, throw another bed off the balcony. Ha ha ha. So it's to be dull jokes after all. Rather have a serious conversation? We can do that if you prefer. I mean, what got into you? That determined to make Vesemir your enemy? No. I was determined not to sleep in the bed in which you swived Triss. Repeatedly. Know what? We should end this discussion before I say something I'll regret. If that's what you want. Knew I could count on your better judgment. Very well. On to more pressing matters. We've a great deal of work to do. Fine. What do I do? 
Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Already helped Eskel. I can check on Lambert. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potestaquisitor. Potesta... Potestaquisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Far now. So, Jennifer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. signal. Nothing here. Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger.
pretty far now. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. The train just never are. took off. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park, in more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the Circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man. Savola's breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those salamander assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. Are you gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. 
That makes sense. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! Mord it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. sure wasn't human. What now, you piece of filth?
Water hag. Great. The last thing we needed. entrance is just opposite, see it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old Speartip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Geralt? 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 Geralt?
Geralt? Geralt? Make this boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom, like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old spear tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Fine. Let's go. You're safe now. No! No! Help! Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the foglets to take care of now. Come on. 
Thunk. You're not gonna let this drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? When someone's life might be threatened, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Enough said. Of course, the noble white wolf never abandons a man in need. He's more saint than Witcher. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy... Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglet's remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Wall looks a little shaky. Ard, maybe? And awake old spear tip? What? You afraid? No, I just think before I act. Mind not stomping like that. Relax, I slipped. Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha. Ugh. Oh. Place reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Would have been nice. Ah, so soft and sweet, just sleeping there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. Huh. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on, 